the No Fate channel checking in, and I am doing a very, and I do mean a very quick review of the rad heavy duty sauna sweatsuit to help you dads or anyone who might be interested in this sweatsuit know what they're getting into before they purchase it. First and foremost, let's talk about price. I paid $35 on Amazon.com. Buying off of Amazon is great because they back their products. Amazon uh, is really easy to return, and oftentimes companies are a lot easier to give you replacements for broken products or products that don't last a week or two. Um, so I love buying off of Amazon, and it saves me a trip to the store. Heavy duty costs thirty-five dollars. Amazon.com two-day shipping. So it has ripstop in it. For those of you who've used uh, sauna suits before, you know that they tend to tear easily. Um, this is heavy duty. It does feel heavy duty. Um, if couple features that are nice about it. I don't know if you guys can see this. The wrists have Velcro to help cinch down the wrists and create a tighter seal. The top also has, I don't know if you can see this, but it has pockets on either side uh, of the top. So that is a nice feature again if you, to store your phone, store your Walkman, whatever. I don't know if anyone's using Walkmans nowadays. It is heavy. It feels durable and it feels heavy. Let's talk about the pants. So the pants, they have a drawstring. This drawstring is absolutely useless, okay? I'm not saying it's a bad product. I'm just saying this drawstring is useless, all right? There are no, po there are, po excuse me, there are pockets on the sides of the pants, which again, is another nice feature, um, especially if you're taking this thing out and about on the street and doing running with it. The legs, this is a really nice feature. The legs have a zipper, okay? So the legs have a zipper that goes about six inches up, so that makes it easier to get your feet on and then zipper it tight. Oftentimes with these sweatsuits, they will tear coming on and coming off, okay? And that's a nice feature to not only uh, make it easier to go on and cinch up the legs and take them off, but also for drying. So let's talk about cleaning these things. Uh, don't put them in the washing machine. Even on the slightest setting, you're probably going to tear this thing. I've had this for a month. And I haven't washed it once. Uh, I've been washing it. I've been air drying it. After I use it, I take it and reverse it inside out, let it air dry. And then I, I wash it down with uh, just a simple mild soap and a towel. Okay, don't put them in the washing machine. Certainly don't put them in the dryer. You'll ruin them. As far as sizing, now I am 6'1", 188 pounds. I'm not a big guy by, by any stretch of the imagination. I ordered an XL initially. It was too small especially the top. The top was almost impossible for me to put on. I now have a double XL and I never buy a double XL in anything. So know that they run small. And the reason I really want to put that warning out there is again, the way that these things tend to tear and break is when you're putting them on and taking them off. Not when you're using them, but when you're putting them on and taking them off. So let's dive into cost. At $35, that is expensive for a sweatsuit. If you went down to Walmart, and I've done this before, and got the Gold's Gym version uh, you're probably going to pay 15 to $20. But the problem with that is it's going to be torn to shreds in probably a month's time, if not less. I've had uh, two now of those Gold's Gym one, and they both of them broke, um, even with the most careful of use. I, I do mean careful of use. If you're going to go cheap, if you don't want to spend the $35, use trash bags, okay? Because even though the ones at Walmart are going to be more effective than the trash bag, they're going to last you about as long as a trash bag is going to last you. So if you're don't want to spend the $35 on this rad one, then definitely use trash bags. Don't get the Walmart cheap ones because you're going to regret it, rest assured. Now, in terms of a sauna suit, why or when would you want to use a sauna suit? So if you're looking to cut weight for a, a fight, a, a competition, or whatever, uh, that's one obvious reason. Okay, I'm a dad. I'm not trying to look, fight anybody, okay? Um, I use it because I try to get the most out of my cardio. Oftentimes, I will do fasted cardio in the morning. Um, a couple times a week, and I really want to, especially in the winter time, get a nice sweat, clear the pores, and make sure I'm getting my most bang for my buck. Putting that sauna suit on lets me heat up real quickly and really intensifies what, for me, is a modest or even easy uh, cardio day. All right, so that's one. That's why I use it, and that's why you dads might want to use it, or anyone might want to use it. Um, one cautionary thing I would do: it says it's a sauna suit. Do not wear this in the sauna. It's meant to act like a sauna. Do not wear it in the sauna. You will overheat. You will probably pass out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully neither of those. Just keep it out of the sauna. It's not meant to be worn inside an actual sauna. All right. And also caution if you're wearing this outside on an extremely hot day as well. 
I hope you dads found this video informative. If you've come this far in the video, then definitely give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.